みなさんこんにちは、ヒゲさんです。今回は、ヒゲダンの Stand by You リアクションをします。ヒゲダンの曲、入っちゃいましょう。Let's go! Stand by You! I really like that intro, the piano to this. Ooh, we're really digging those effects right there. I'm trying to find the style of the piano, but I can't think of it right now. They're all clapping. I like how we're singing the stand by you part. Putting a little bit of airiness. Good use of the vibrato in the chorus. We got the walls going too. A little bit higher there. I think the amount of bass in here is very good too. A little bit of that kind of beat, a little bit of punch of the song. Got my electronics going. It's a really cool descending scale from the bass. It's a really good pre chorus. <laughs> oh, we got Michael Jackson with a. I like how the pre chorus and the chorus sound very similar. It's hitting them ranges. This has like a gospel kind of feeling. It's a really cool kind of change in genre there. Like the Aruru parts. Letting it out now, really harmonizing. Going the classic fade out into the highs. You know, that was very interesting. I'm surprised they went with that kind of ending. Doing the fade out, but really holding that very high range towards the end there. That's a, that's a pretty nice way to end it. I haven't really heard that before. It's okay. <laughs> Alright, so immediately, very nice piano melody. Starting out with the piano melody, then leading into the rest of the song. You know, this song really had a,、uh, like、a gospel kind of feeling to me.、Um, it's kind of like, if you don't know what gospel means, it, it means kind of like a church kind of feeling. 
because a lot of the woes and just the rhythm of the song, like the flow and the feeling that I got from the track, it gave me that kind of feeling. And I'm not talking about like, you know, the really big church kind of music, you know, you would hear like the choir going with the organ, not that kind. Gospel feeling is more of a lively kind of upbeat feeling kind of song. People sing woes and, you know, hallelujahs or stuff like that. Very, uh, like, a great feeling, good vibes kind of track. You know, interesting things with the instruments that were going on. Uh, one thing that really stood out to me was the use of the guitar. I really like how they were using the effects on the guitar. Added a little bit of, like, funkiness to it. They weren't really using any uh, whammy bar, because I thought it was a whammy bar at first or a whammy pedal, but I thought that was a very interesting way to use those. And I really like the production work as well. I like the electronics that they were going on alongside with the drums. So the drums were just keeping a steady beat all throughout the song, but I think the electronics did a really good job in introducing a different kind of rhythm, a different kind of sound to the song. You know, really nice kind of way to build on the atmosphere of this track with, you know, the liveliness and the really good feelings. But, man, my dude hitting those high notes in here, he was, you know, the previous song that I checked out, I didn't really hear much of him going a little bit higher. He did do it a few times, but in this one, he, he tended to go a little bit higher, which, you know, I was very surprised by that, because, you know, he has a really nice range, so I thought, okay, maybe he only likes to say that for, you know, special occasions, but he did it quite often here, especially towards that end. I really like how he ended that. Very nice control, nice way to end the song. This song really had a nice bass mix to it. It was really open, you could really hear it, and adding a little bit of punch to the song, but it wasn't aggressive in a way where it disrupted the flow of the song, and it introduced a more kind of a upbeat kind of track. Mina sa mi tigre te arigatou gozaimasu, kanotoru kite kudasai, mata tsugi no video de aimashou, mata ne.